Now at 6, two men ambushed and robbed employees at a credit union in New Haven this morning. Good evening. I'm Heather Heron. Mark has the night off. Police say the two got away with more than just cash. News Channel 15's Megan Royce has been digging into what happened. She joins us now live from New Haven. Well, Heather, the New Haven uh, chief of police told me that folks inside the credit union just behind me called 911 just before 9 this morning. He says that two men ambushed employees inside and took some cash. Right now, they don't know how much they took, but they do know that the men took more than just the money. They also took an employee's vehicle. It's a black 2009 Saturn View Indiana and God We Trust license plate RLE 654. They left in unknown direction, and this is being investigated by the New Haven Police Department and Northeast Indiana Bank Robbery Task Force. Now, police can't tell us if anyone was injured, if the man wore mask, or when the bank opened. But according to the Midwest America Federal Credit Union website, the lobby and the drive-thru shouldn't have opened until 9 a.m. Today, the branch was closed due to the emergency. Its VP Marketing and Communications, Mike Wonker, says, quote, the Midwest America Federal Credit Union office on Wayne Haven Street will be closed for the balance of today and tomorrow so our employees can recuperate. There is another branch less than two miles away. This office is equipped with a controlled building entrance system for our members' security. For now, reporting live from the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.